Imagine if you shall tread upon serpents and scorpions, eh? No wonder, eh? Praise the Lord. They won't be able to do anything to you. Man, what a wonderful promise, eh? What a wonderful promise. The anointing of God is so strong. And when it comes, hallelujah, praise God, an enemy will not be able, will not be able to do anything. God, I wish I could speak to a senior able. When the anointing of God comes, this is how the shepherd was. And that's how Jesus takes care of us. I only, I only believe Jesus is taking care of us. He's taking care of us. Praise the Lord. Sometimes I feel so alone. Sometimes I'm always at home. And only during the day I'm going to go to work. And I'm at home alone. But I leave my computer on all day. So sometimes people think I'm on all day. <laughs> but you know, you know when, I, when I'm at home alone, I learn to get into the Word. I've learned to seek God. Hallelujah. Because before my house used to be full all the time. People would come there, they'd eat, they'd have coffee, they'd fellowship, they'd sing. But it seems today I'm always all alone. <laughs> but you know, God makes appointed times when He wants Himself to you now. He needs to get some things into you. And this is what's happening in my life. Praise God. When my wife comes home, she goes to sleep once in a while. And I have to cook for her. I cook for her in the afternoon. And I cook for her in the evenings. And uh, when I tell her to cook for me in the evenings, don't you know I'm tired? Because I work all day. What do you do? She doesn't know, she doesn't know what I do. <coughs> but you know, that word, that the word that God gives us, you know, when they pray, it comes within us and then it soaks in us. And you know it. Okay, look at this Something happens in our lives. And this is what happened. When the anointing of God comes, there's nothing that the devil can do. Because you know the anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing, when it comes, it brings restoration. It brings waves of repression. Uh, when the anointing comes, you can even smell it at times. My wife is really sensitive to this too. We can only go back a couple of that time. Mariah had her meetings there coming in and she was there. We went that that night and she said, as we were sitting, we know I'm here. Somebody's going to get to do it. And I looked at her. Really? Yeah. I can smell it. That night we were so in God's field with the Holy Ghost. Man, it was powerful. It was powerful. I could even smell it later on. I began to smell it. I can't know it was there. You see, the only way of anointing many times that you can feel it is when you're given. When your heart is open, your vessel is open, and God will fill you. But if you don't want to change, and if you want to be stubborn and ignorant and do your own thing, nothing will happen. <laughs> That's the truth, eh? Praise the Lord. How would you like uh, the move of God? 